to welcome your cat. Today, we're going to go over the procedures, the way you would replace the air filter. So we want to go ahead and replace the air filter. The air filter happens to be under this compartment. So to get under this thing, we happen to have, uh, there's a, um, it's a plastic clip here. We're going to twist it. And just twist it to the right. You just need to go 90 degrees and pull up, right? And that, that pulls up with a flat blade screwdriver. Um, you can put it like that. Back here are some rubber grommets that this slips into. So we're just going to want to pull it this way towards us, and then we can take this whole cover off. Now we're going to set this aside. So we set this aside, right? Our um, our air filter is right under this kind of, this um, this cap here, right? We're going to want to get to our air filter. So we need a T25 to undo these screws. So we got the T25, right? I'm going to go ahead and loosen these. So I'm going to kind of sit in there. Come all the way up. And down under this cable, there's a T25 here. Loosen that. It's loose. We got another one over here. There's the T25 here. We go ahead and loosen. Right in this corner. Go ahead and loosen that one. And then there's also one back here. We would go ahead and loosen. And loosen there. And then there's another one right in here. It's right in the middle. There's the T25 there. We would go ahead and loosen that. So we've got two, four, six seven total T25s that we would go ahead and loosen. They loosen that, and then when they're all loose, then you just go ahead and pop this up, and there's a tab that pushes into the back, but we go ahead and pop this up like this, and we go ahead and just kind of push this. I have another hand here to kind of... There we go. Hold there. Pry it up from the back and it'll pop out. There we go. Got our air filter here. And then we're going to go ahead and get our new air filter. Got this air filter. We're going to go ahead and get our new one and then we're going to install it. Alright, so we've got, gone ahead and got our new air filter. We're just going to go ahead and just reinstall it. Almost it's the same procedure, just in reverse. Gotta put it in from the top here, pull it over forward, and then it just slides on there. It's got a gasket that goes right up front here. Just slide it in there, install it. There we go. Then we're gonna go ahead and put this cap back down. And now to put this cap back down, you see this little line tab here? This tab's gonna line up right there when you put it back down. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. You wanna either fill back here or get your head back in there. Make sure that that lines there, that lines up, put that all together. We we'll just go ahead and retighten our, uh, our 225 screws. And that's how you go ahead and change your air filter. Like I said, make sure that there's um, seven screws sold, two, four, and then six, and then one in here is seven. Go ahead and tighten all those screws on there, and then that's how you go, that's how you go ahead and replace air filter and a GOK 
250 happens to be the diesel motor that's how you go ahead and replace the motor or replace the air filter on your GLK class um, diesel.